What up, pimps? From the ashes I rise in a comeback that is almost as iconic as the return of skinny Nikocado Avocado. I'm here to talk about a game between my guy, Coco, and Isa. For a moment there, I just blanked out because I couldn't remember his name. Also known as Hell Pona, this is GSC Ubers, the ultra heavyweight of GSC, where, yeah, the king is still lax, but there are a couple of other heavyweight contenders like Mewtwo and Mew. So this is for GSC Ubers, week five. I don't normally cover any games anymore, but I'm back from the ashes of the dead because I thought this game to be pretty damn interesting. Now, in case you don't know, the winningest player of GSC PL has to be Isa in my recollection he is probably one of the best to ever do it not just as an Ubers player but in general for how consistent he is and how typically he just goes 5-0 in the main season each year year to year I don't think he's always been undefeated But Coco is willing to make a statement, and it's in theaters now. What you're about to see. All right. We got ourselves Mewtube versus Mewtwo. And Quagsire, oh my dear, Quagsire is a Yu-Yu-Mon. Is this some some kind of flex? I don't really know too much about the Mewtwo lead and the Mew lead matchup, but the Mew in the lead, Mew typically is the physical setup Mon alongside Snorlax, but Snorlax has Curse or sometimes rarely Drum. And Mew usually packs a boom, but it could also have some coverage moves going on there. Um, Typically, what you're going to see is a Rock Slide Earthquake in Gen 2, so it's not quite like in Gen 1 Ubers. But it does run Swords Dance, and it can use some other magical moves like Explosion, Thunder Wave, etc. Quaggy, oh my dear, it's just so cute staring at him with those big old eyes and then we got cloister cloister coming in free spikes but coco decides to switch into his lax perhaps expecting isa to set up goes for the curse and he outspeeds the lax and puts it asleep the next turn so isa is there with the lax eyes wide shut raikou is in this position where Coco kind of has a bit of a lead here with the lax put to sleep. It looks like it's not a sleep talk. We don't know for sure, but in Ubers, you will have some sleep talker, and I suppose that's usually the electric or something along those lines. Isa is known to be one of the most prolific builders and will bring anything. The fact that he has a Quagsire is really interesting. And nonetheless, Coco does choose to prioritize damage here as he brings in the Raikou, goes for that Thunder with a guaranteed two-hit KO. The Fori is in quite a pinch, but at the very least, Isa is the first to set spikes interestingly enough even though that switch was free what you do see here though is that switching from the Raikou to the Cloister is always going to be a safe play because whatever can come in on the electric as you know you know standard procedure here Cloister is free to play there's no chance that Ice is going to double to a Zapdos right I don't make him out to be that kind of guy 
He's not the one to go for wild plays, to my knowledge at least. And he's going to try and burn off those turns. The sooner he can wake up the Snorlax, the better. But now Coco brings in his his own lax. And the reason is he's going to try and prioritize damage. We have yet to see a run-of-the-mill normal resist on Isa's team. Actually, on either team. The Fory is quite low, so it doesn't necessarily want to take a uh, double edge here. And in... Gen 2 Ubers, what you're going to see a lot of is non-Sleep Talk Snorlaxes, including non-Rest variants. So, And that's just to bust open the opposing team a lot more. And this Mewtwo coming in only tells me that it's probably a barrier Mewtwo with Toxic and Flamethrower for a pseudo-perfect coverage. But barrier stacks up way faster than Curse can, and with Recover as that other move, probably one of the best recovery moves in the game, Mewtwo is nigh unbreakable without a crit. He's going to put that Lax on a timer and stall it out for positional advantage as he brings in his own Golem and... Coco knows this, so he brings Raikou in on the same turn. Now, this is interesting because the Golem is in uh, a situation where it could Earthquake or Spin. However, Hidden Power Water can kill it. I'm not quite sure if at 94 it's able to do that, but Zapdos certainly could. Nonetheless, you don't necessarily want that if the Cloister's healthy. So, as you see, Isa switches out. And we haven't seen Raikou take any damage yet, so we don't know if it's hidden power water. But we can be pretty safe to assume that it is. It's much more common in Ubers than OU. Mewtube is going to set up, and honestly, we haven't seen anything that can threaten this Mew as of yet. Because Barrier Mewtwo isn't exactly the best if you don't have something to cancel out that setup. Because it just means it's prone to critical hits. Quaggy. Quaggy taking that like a champ and has Haze. This is not a bell drum. Bell. Bell. Belly drum Quag. That's a uh, female too, by the way. So that actually might have been what tipped it off. Because females don't have maximum attack in this uh, format, unfortunately. It's a Gen 2 unique thing, actually Gen 1 as well, but it's not as prevalent in Gen 1. Females can only have one maximum IV in attack, which makes Gen 2 kind of sexist. Anyways, we saw Surf Haze, so no belly drum. It's not a physical attacker. Surf Haze, meaning this team is more close to stall than anything but are we going to see an earthquake no no earthquake and uh that just goes to show you that maybe this quagsire doesn't even have that to begin with surf and haze raikou is just staying in knowing that isa doesn't necessarily want to take damage here but he does want to wake up the lax and he comes in on a good turn now isa's Victory here is probably going to be to stall out the opponent until his lax is in the position to win through longevity, essentially. If he can wear down the opposing team with his Mewtwo and Toxic everything, then he can eventually set up. Zapdos also looks like a good... Um, not a core breaker, but good uh, in general as a catch-all mon speed ties with Mew by the way so they're in the same speed tier and is quite good at taking hits but not that hit explosion taking out the Zapdos that's probably good for Coco even though he had a Raikou it just makes him a little bit less susceptible to crits so his Raikou can wreck havoc 
There isn't all that much challenging this Raikou. So he is going to switch in. Mewtwo only has one special attack and Toxic. And it doesn't want to get paralyzed. Because then his uh, then Coco's Snorlax wins. I mean, potentially. Isa does have two normal resists, and they are even. For now. We're going to see how this plays out. Isa setting up. Curse. What is Coco going to do here? He is going to boom early. But not too early. Just right. With the Snorlax outsped by Steelix here, because it's at minus one speed, that Lax looks like it might just die. The boom didn't quite secure the KO, but with spikes there and the golem... Well, no, the golem is actually quite healthy, so if the golem does manage to spin, then that could be trouble for Coco. At the moment, that doesn't seem like an issue. Coco knows this, so he's not going to bring in his own Snorlax. Therefore, he's not ever going to lure in the other Golem. But Isa could decide to come in here. Decides to go to Mewtwo as a middle ground. Understandable. I don't think that Coco's Mewtwo is a flamethrower toxic. It's not the stall variation. I'm actually quite a big fan of that set. It looks like Mewtwo might be packing a self-destruct of its own. We're going to see how that plays out. Toxic. Oh, so there is a Toxic. Okay. Okay. And we have Sleep Talk Rest Haze Quagsire. Self-destruct Toxic Mewtwo... He baited it with that Toxic there. Now the Quagsire is in trouble. And Isa's team is very susceptible to Raikou all of a sudden. Uh-oh. How is he going to challenge it? He can Toxic it. But he's going to need some luck here. There's one turn of luck. He's going to need at least two or three hits to take out that Mewtwo. Or Raikou. Can you imagine what would happen if Coco wins? It would be a Rai coup d'etat. Get it? Because because of the coup. Rai coup. Okay. He's going to sack the Quagsire. That means he must be really in trouble right now. He's staying in with Golem, but unfortunately... Golem gets destroyed, one hit KO'd, and now Isa is staring down the one of the most threatening electric users. I guess we could not have been fooled by the numbers there because just a moment ago Isa had five Pokemon, and now it looks like he only has one that can actually contest this Raikou. Well, sort of. And his Snorlax is at 13%. Mewtwo deciding to set up here because the game isn't quite over. Luck does exist. And were he to take out Coco's Raikou, the Raikoko, so to speak, he needs to be prepared for the next two physical threats, even if he does get paralyzed. So... He's setting up with Barrier here. And no, there is no body press in Gen 2. So, this is a purely defensive, crit-me-not move. There's no offensive capability in it. He would have to stall it out the old-fashioned way. Coco's just switching in and out. At this point, it doesn't look like there's much that Isa can do. He does have 48 barriers, though, so this could take a while. We're going to zoom in, or speed up, and he puts the Mewtwo to sleep. Mewtwo. 
I can't even pronounce anything anymore. That's how long I've been away from, from this game. And I haven't touched the game at all. That's the crazy part. Okay, we missed a clue turn here. Pardon me, folks. Steelix came in and used Roar to phase out the Snorlax, and it turns out it wasn't actually at 13%, so it dies immediately to the spikes. Uh, the calculator sometimes rounds up the percentages, and so Mewtwo is going to get boomed on once. Coco manages to do what few players in Ubers have managed to do, and that is defeating one of the most successful players. Congrats to the Italian Stallion for taking out the German urban version of the Flurban Durban. One thing is certain that there's no Torkin around this version of the Italian Stallion. All right, take care everybody. Um, it's nice every once in a while to just kind of sit back and enjoy, I guess. I thought this game was cool. I like Ubers. It's a really nice tier. Take care. And yeah, I don't know. Happy, happy holidays. I don't know. <laughs>